questions? Yes. Yes, you have a question. Can you sing Bethlehem? I love it. That's a request. That's a <laughs> <laughs> hanging tough with me. All these years, we keep getting older together, right? I started as a jazz singer, right? And then I started writing my own songs, which weren't so jazzy, I guess. And then I uh, made my first album. And Peter Gabriel heard that first album while it was still in the coffers, you know, not released yet. And uh, I had seen his Secret World Live tour a couple of times because I was such a fan. And he literally just called me up after hearing Harbinger and asked me to, Paula, would you please join the tour, you know? And I flew to Mannheim, Germany and had one rehearsal with my hero and was thrown out in front of 16,000 Germans that <laughs> night. And we filmed Secret World Live less than a week that after that rehearsal. And I would tour with Peter over the course of 93, 94. We played Woodstock. And I would come back to the States and I would put the PA in the boot of a car and drive all around America and uh, show up in coffee houses where nobody knew me. And I started singing. I started doing this, you know, this. Building my quilt, my beautiful family, my extended family that is you. All those things, they started coming. Harbinger finally got out, and then Where Have All the Cowboys Gone was this explosion, which is still not entirely understood. But <laughs> and Lilith Fair, and oh. And then even me disappearing for like seven, eight years, right? And thank you for being patient. That's motherhood in pop music, which is like a near-death experience, right? <laughs> Thank you for being here. We're fighting for Yes. And I've been making independent music since then. I am still here. Right? <laughs> and I love you. I love you. I love you platonically. I love you. We love you. Burns 
Center of all things, and I believe.